by the power vested in me, I hereby constitute this assembly as a legal congregation of the University of Pretoria. During this assembly, diplomas and degrees with all the associated rights and privileges will be awarded and conferred on the candidates whose names appear in the program. Please take your seats. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we request you to join us in silent prayer or meditation to give thanks for the achievements of our students. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, it is now my pleasure as Chancellor of University of Pretoria to welcome to this uh, graduation all of you. I want in particular to welcome the Dean of the Faculty of Veterinary Sciences, uh, Professor D.A. Abenethi, the Dean Faculty of Natural and Agricultural Sciences, Professor J.M. Lubuma, the Deputy Dean Faculty of Veterinary Sciences, Professor D.E. Holm, the Deputy Dean, Department of uh, Natural and Agriculture, Professor M. Portrita, and the Deputy Director, Department of Enrollment and Student Administration, Dr. Liebenberg. I wish also to welcome the following, the chairpersons of schools, heads of departments, directors, honorary professors, and other lecturers and their spouses, supervisors, co-supervisors, and external examiners of the doctoral students. The representative of the Student Representative Council will present the SRC Academic Honorary Colors. All persons to whom certificates and degrees will be awarded and conferred this morning. All spouses, parents, and other, and other parties and dignitaries that are in this um, occasion this morning, it is not possible to identify each and every one by name. It is my pleasure this morning to begin the ceremony by uh, a short congratulatory message to the graduates. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor and privilege to congratulate all the graduates and their families today. We salute, we salute you for what you have achieved under very difficult circumstances, especially last year. We commend you for staying focused on your medium to long-term goals, appreciating that regardless of the difficulties in the short term, your career prospects will depend on whether you have a university qualification or not. Realizing that whatever ambition you have, a university qualification will always be an advantage, not only in the employment context, but above all, in equipping you with the knowledge and competencies that will help you in making critical choices going forward. I wish also to thank the deans and faculty for responding creatively to the challenges of last year. I thank you in particular for harnessing technology and other innovations and utilizing them to provide appropriate and effective support to the students. Today we celebrate the fruits of your efforts. At the same time, ladies and gentlemen, I wish to challenge all the graduates to be bold and innovative in thinking about what to do with their qualifications. We live in interesting times with great opportunities created by the breakthroughs in science, technology, and the internet. Ian Golden and Chris Kutana, in their book entitled Age of Discovery, compare the period we live in with the European Renaissance in the 15th century, when science and innovation flourished 
and the invention of the printing press by Gutenberg in the 1450s made access to knowledge through print and books available to the general public. The difference between that period and now is that the flourishing of science and technology is not limited to Europe. The internet has made collaboration on a global scale possible and easy. Therefore, advances in science in the 21st century are shared. They are developed through collaboration among scientists across the world in acting on the internet. Therefore, there is no reason why a scientist, inventor, or entrepreneur in South Africa or anywhere in Africa cannot participate in the global network and, and be co-creators of the innovations that are defining the 21st century. I challenge you to take full advantage of these developments and opportunities that are now available to us all. Use access to new ideas and innovations to empower yourselves. Dream big. And not only as a man or woman from Kwakwa or Pofada, but as citizens of the world. As already mentioned, one of the great benefits of the internet is that it facilitates sharing and collaboration. Kevin Kelly in his book, The Inevitable, Understanding the 12 Technological Forces that Will Spare Our Future, highlight the potential for innovation and entrepreneurship that is being unleashed by the culture of collaboration by individuals and groups across the countries. You are the generation of the screen. You should be comfortable using these tools to broaden your horizons. In my view, these developments should accelerate the closing of the gap in science and technology between the highly industrialized countries and the developing countries. The exciting thing is that the open access to information and sharing and collaboration in its development is not driven by governments, but by enthusiastic individuals and groups across countries, cultures, and religions. These developments offer unprecedented opportunities to the peoples of developing countries to leapfrog from the pre-industrialization stage to the 21st century. The opportunity is there for us to grab and not to allow the painful experiences of the past to paralyze and confuse our thinking. The past happened and is behind us. What we now what we have now is the 21st century and its opportunities and risks, of course. Let's do our best to respond to the opportunities confronting us. I believe that your education at the University of Pretoria has prepared you well to lead the charge. Go out and be bold and innovate. Well, I thought, ladies and gentlemen, it's easy for one to be overwhelmed by what is happening around you and think, and think that, and, and not see the big picture and the opportunities that now have become available. And think that because we are faced with some temporary disagreements in our midst in South Africa, you think that this is the end of the world. No. The 21st century has closed, has potential to close the gap in science and technology between all the peoples of the world. There's no excuse from anyone wherever you live. 
not to get into your computer on the web and get, if you have got an idea to design a product, to design a process, be bold and innovative and be part and see yourself as a, as a citizen of the world, not as somebody who is constrained because you are colonized or you are oppressed or you're still frustrated because of what happened in the past. That past happened, it's behind us. We have to think about where we are now and move forward. This may sound like a sermon, but I think it has to be said. Well, ladies and gentlemen, once more congratulations and best wishes. A round of applause to our graduates. I now request the Dean of Natural and Agricultural Sciences and Supervisors to introduce to me the candidates present whose names appear in the program. Mr. Come, come, come. Not yet. Not yet. You are in such a hurry. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Science with specialization in genetics. Rebecca Ackerman. Leandre Bezai Denhot with distinction. <laughs> Zavi Bretz. <laughs> Derek Klassens. Bianca da Silva. <laughs> Sara Kalihan. <laughs> Nicola Hraylin. <laughs> Ivan Ehok. Lian Chardin. <laughs> Eugène Kabwe. <laughs> Paige Klepper, with distinction. <laughs> Nikolaos Kosovolos with distinction. This candidate has received the PPS Achievement Award to the most outstanding final year BSc student in genetics. <laughs> Francis Lane. Claire Linahan, with distinction, this candidate has received the Margarita MES Memorial Prize for a female plant science student with the best average of at least 70% for three third year modules in plant science. <laughs> Meta Leshabane. Michel Magliolo. <laughs> Tandi Maholane. <laughs> Ch 
Smangele Malema. Kilona Nata with distinction. Mapaseka Nkwe. Kellen Pile. Yolanda Pretorius. Stefane Schreiber. Nondunduzo Simelane. And Eliza Smith. Ashley Smith. Nicole Sol with distinction. Melissa Stoffberg. Lesiba Talane. Jack van der Merve. Lara van der Merve. Stephanie Louise van Heerden. Janko van Jarswert. With specialization in medicine, medical sciences. Fatima Arbi, with distinction. John Bailey. Salona Beni. <laughs> Helen Bimon. <laughs> Dylan Caldo. <laughs> Rivoningo Chauke. Shante Derksen. Cindy Siwe Dube. Michelle Ferguson. Mornay Ferreira. Savannah Governor. Charlize Javier. Sarah Amwi. Anika Erselman with distinction. Chloe o Owell with distinction. <laughs> Joan Janser van Neuf van Ozen. <laughs> Petros Lorenz. Chloe McGregor with distinction. (Applause) 
Jabu Mashlangu. Refilwe Maribe. Susan Marcy with distinction. Clement Mashaba. Offense Mat Matloko. Pumzile Ndleleni. Dineo Mulewa. Ngwana Mokwadi Morakikwa, Morakiwa. Kiara Betre Mpanza. Lerato Mpe. Mulisa Mudao. Andiswa Nkube. Kudakwashe Nechikwira. Floriana Negunda. Anwani Nenkumbe. Linda Nzombe. Anel Olifer. Sangen Park. Mansa Raholane. <laughs> Moetepi Sekobela. Mfundo, Mfundo Sigudla. Amkelwe Simelane. Sipesicle Sitole. Princess Kosana. Inge Tok. François Van Nieker. Chantel Ferster. Tristan Wallace with distinction. Merci Zouche. With specialization in human physiology. Fatima Abbas. Tanika Berry. Emma Cook. Bronwyn Cunningham with distinction. This candidate has received the, the Yuan J. Teron Trophy for the best BSc student 
with human physiology as a major subject. Harret the Cox. Andresia Gavander. Tirusha Gavander with distinction. Simone Robelar. Tasneem Khan. Yakubus Leroux. Vuisile Loluani. Anzani Mabunda. Releahile Mahopa. Fano Mampwe. Numia Manuel. Nomonde Mapasa. Yakubus Mare. Christina Machailwe. Clinton Mavuyangwa. Gaynor McNabb. Kekeleto Monte. Ntabiseng Mofokeng. Naledi Mohale. Lesejo Mokone. Boitumelo Mokotong. Ompemetse Motang. So, Solofelo Mpaklele. Nongkwana Mchali. Zandile Monai. Tulisile Ngomane. Masego Nkosi. Nomvuselelo Nyati. Jabulani Nyembe. Nyembe. Melinda Pratt. Naledi Ranato. Gloria Tambwe. Luke Tui. Marina van Antwerp. Marie-Louise van der Merve. Applaus 
with specialization in human physiology, genetics, and psychology. Sebastian Barnard. Claire Becker, with distinction. Yuri Baga. Carabo Cholani. Nisha Clemson. Nicholas Grace. Shane de Bier. Bianca de Bren. Alicia Dupre. Nolani Lee Dupre. Melissa Glutz. Robin Green. Natasha Ambakis. Ashley Umut. Kyla Howard. Alana James. Jacinta Johnson. Lomile Quarter. Angelina Leduaba. Bivan Lidham. Moloko Lepazi. Makate Leziane. Nadia Levin. Abigail Light Body. Dina Leot. Cleo Lot. Tammy Lutz. Kira Lin. Lungile Mabuza. Amo Kelani Mahungu. Nande Maka. Mary Machiane. Tanzile Mbonane. Tarin Meni Net. Segofato Motlabane. Wow. 
Luyanda Ndlovu. Yoan Nell. Nicole Nisser with distinction. Yamina Ntwaza. John Lee Ostezen. Neo Pele. Larissa Pillay. Jenna Robinson. Carla Rodriguez Freitas. Berthold Rousseau. Stefan Valentin. Marilie van der Kerk. Peter van der Kerk. Tamlin van der Kerk. Duane van Weck. Margarita Fermak. Nikita Fifers. Jan William Williams with distinction. Jakubus Zowitski. Monique Baker. Angela Bona. Reni Bretz. Julia Candotti with distinction. Charnay de Bière. Amy Fouri. Tianzi Gagnani. Aurora Herbert. Kathleen Grace. Brittany Olds. Camilla Yanka. Anna King. Sarah Nax. Saisa Kaulese. Hai Lim. Peto Maja. Mina Melo. Noma Kosazana Monahotla. K. 
ke tumetse motwang refilwe motswana tumai muzorewa Juvelia Pater Alvira Prakash Alexis Schulz Upambili Simamane Clarice Small <coughs> Mandy van der Merve <coughs> Nike van der Mert <coughs> Divan van Rule Raven Vink Licia Essel This is a late candidate for the Bachelor of Science in Medicine Medical Sciences, uh, Peleto Sebotoma. Request uh, the Dean of Veteran Sciences and Supervisors to introduce the candidates present whose names appear in the program. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the university diploma in veterinary nursing. Inga Buttenhausen, with distinction. <laughs> Tyler Kendrell. <laughs> Wendile Tsile. <laughs> Kimberly Cox. Chelsea Friedman. Cassandra Gamedi. Lilama Gugoshe. Tyler Hearn. Dinah Herholt. <laughs> Teresa Kamerlin. <laughs> Towetu Kubeka. <laughs> Anisha Lumbrex. Corin Liebenberg. <laughs> Sonay Lowe. <laughs> and 
Tabi Singh Menaka. Wilmery Murray, who gets the Diagnostic Prize for the Best Achievement in Reproductive Nursing in the first and second year. <laughs> Nadia Neertham. <laughs> Kirsten Wersthuizen. Hesti Prinzler. <laughs> Hanli Ru, who gets the Axum Service Prize for the best achievement in radiography 200. <laughs> Marianka Schlesinger. Akira Singh. Nico Stup. Vanessa Twaits. Rebecca Upfold. Tersha Fanahaji. Kirsten Feuchts. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Veterinary Science. Justina Allison, who gets it with distinction Gets, you better stay around. <laughs> South African Veterinary Association Clinical Prize for the highest average mark in relevant bovine, equine, and small animal aspects of veterinary core practice modules, VCP 601-602. The Merrill Clinical Prize for the best achievement in the clinical rotations of the final year of the degree program. And if that isn't enough, the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice, VCP 603. Well done. James Anderson. Cara Andreasen. Sonia Antonison, who gets the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice. Tasneem Anthony. Samantha Arison, who gets a degree with distinction of the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice. San Marie Badenhorst. Siobhan Barrett. Ansari Berry, who receives her degree with distinction. Pierre Besson. He receives his degree with distinction. Simone Besson. Christian Blechnert. Candice Borham. Carolyn Buertes, who receives her degree with distinction. V. 
Witz Burtes. Vincent Burter. Rosalie Bruchemann, who receives her degree with distinction and the Swan Morton Surgery Prize for the best achievement in small animal operations by a student. Well Good night. Roseanne Beitendach. Janine Berger. Nwako Chelopo. Kirsten Cole. Kirsten Collins. Alison Cook, who receives her degree with distinction. Good morning. Carmen Cook. Monique De Beer. Jan De Klerk, who receives his degree with distinction. Daniel de Vries, who receives his degree with distinction. Adrian Duval, who receives his degree with distinction. Carolee Dewey. Stina Elizabeth Domen. Marina Dupria. Karine Detoy. Michiel Detoy. Leanne Emka. Christophe Genevieve. Trishanta Govender. Good, thank you. Justin Grace, who receives a private clinics award for contribution and keen interest shown in private clinics. Anneri Hrelen. Jessica Hall. Elizabeth Hammond, who receives her degree with distinction and the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in core veterinary practice. Matthew Huckle. Joanne Hughes. Johannes Himmen. Murray Hislop. Barent Jacobs. Catherine Kelly. Flores Creer. <laughs> Heidi Kuhn. <laughs> Friedel Leroux. <laughs> Le 
Johanneli Leroux. Martinez Lochenberg. Chanel Lombard, who receives her degree with distinction and the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice. Johannes Lubinger, who receives the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice and the South African Veterinary Foundation Pet Memorial Prize for special interest in all aspects of small animals in veterinary core practice modules. Margareta Lubinger, who receives her degree with distinction in the South African Equine Veterinary Association Prize for special interest in all aspects of horses in veterinary core practice modules. Izzet Milan, who receives her degree with distinction. Purushka Mandri. Megan Marr. Morrison Mbeti. Sonica Mayer, who receives her degree with distinction. Tina Mschlanger. Luanda Mlisa. Tessa Morris, who receives her degree with distinction, the award of the Vice Chancellor and Principal. This award consists of a silver medal as well as a cash prize and certificate and is awarded to the candidates for outstanding undergraduate achievement during all years of undergraduate study. And she receives the Tyler Memorial Prize to the student who excelled in merit and dedication throughout the veterinary degree program. Well done. Good morning. Lizanne Murphy. Lisa Marie Nell, who receives her degree with distinction, the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice. Lindsay Parves. Kyle Pierce. Good morning. Charlize Pillay, who receives her degree with distinction. Sine Reinecke. Paul Reynolds, who receives the National Wool Growers Association Prize for the aptitude and best performance in small stock health and production at the end of final year. <laughs> Nalissa Rhodes, who receives her degree with distinction. <laughs> Mutsatsi Selotole. Orsila Smith, who receives her degree with distinction and the South African Veterinary Association Prize for the 10 best students in veterinary core practice. Well done. <laughs> Esti Spies. Pamela Stain, who receives her degree with distinction. Alex Stradom, who receives his degree with distinction and the Stride Distributors Award for the best progress in the Equine Medicine Clinic in the final year of the degree program. Good. Andrea Sumaraj. Michael Sutton, who receives his degree with distinction. Nicholas Temlet. <laughs> who 
Jarob Thorpe, who receives his degree with distinction. Yanetta Ace. Johan van den Heerfer. Lucanne van der Laan, who receives her degree with distinction. Marianne van der Merwe. Marika van der Walt, who receives her degree with distinction. Luanne van Jaarsveld. Bianca van Wijk. Nandy van Wijk. Marika van Seil. Tian Fisser. Karen Folker, who receives her degree with distinction. Kimara Walters. Tanneth Wells. Alexander Westerink. Michelle Westhoff. Rochelle Wilson, who receives her degree with distinction. Gertruda Zavitsky. Mr. Chancellor, the, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the degree Bachelor of Veterinary Science Honours. Delaray Bruchman. Franz van Heerden. Mr. Chancellor, the following candidates have complied with all the requirements for the degree Master of Veterinary Medicine, Christelle LaRue. In Small Animal Surgery, Tesh Smala. In Small Animal Medicine, Joanne McLean. In pathology, Samantha Topkins. In pig herd health, Shani van Lockham. Master of Science in Animal Human Ecosystem Health, Marianne Frank. Kramer Magnetu. Priscilla Mbiri. Jessica Mangera. What more Tagweri? Frank Fenter, who receives his degree with distinction. In veterinary reproduction, Claudia Cordosa Kamete. In 
in Veterinary Science, Clinton Austin, who receives his degree with distinction. John Burrell, who receives his degree with distinction. Adele de Haast. Augustina Fitter. Motanti Magoshoa, who receives her degree with distinction. How are you? Bitumela Motemeli, who receives her degree with distinction. Chloe and Gupe. John and Tuvu Guruza. Thomas Ramalekana. Aluketi Singo. Christine Stain, who receives her degree with distinction. <laughs> Mr. Chancellor, the supervisors will now introduce the doctoral candidates. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Lisea Christina Becker, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Nile Crocodile Urine as Sample for Biochemical and Hormonal Analyses, prepared under my supervision and with Professor Duncan Krumarty as the co supervisor. In her thesis, the Preventa investigated the diagnostic potential of Nile Crocodile urine. Laboratory methods uh, were developed and validated for the crocodile urine, and more specifically, biochemical and hormonal parameters were investigated. First project, concentrations of biochemical analytes in urine and plasma collected from healthy Nile crocodiles were evaluated, reference intervals were proposed, and urine to blood ratios determined for the measured parameters. Second project, a GCMS method was developed and validated to optimally detect steroid hormones and their metabolites in crocodile urine. Third project, large numbers of urine samples were screened for steroids. Urine samples were collected from immature to reproductively active animals. Fourth project, urine samples were collected and screened for stress hormone concentrations after the adrenals of individual crocodiles was artificially stimulated to release these hormones. In conclusion, the results of the various subprojects of this study significantly contributed to our knowledge of Nile crocodile urine chemistry, especially the biochemical and hormonal parameters. Several new research questions were identified and are currently being investigated. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Con Doctor of Philosophy, unless Lucia Christina Becker, with all associated rights.
Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Charles Bayaruanga, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Epidemiology and Tick-Borne Hemoparasite Diversity Amongst Transhuman Zebo Cattle in Karamoja Region, Uganda, prepared under my supervision and with Dr. Nicola Collins and Professor Darren Knobel as co-supervisors. Livestock is the main source of wealth for pastoralists in East Africa. However, tick-borne diseases inflict substantial economic losses on livestock production and resource use, thereby impacting the livelihoods of pastoralists. In his thesis, the Prima Vendors investigated the occurrence, diversity and epidemiology of tick-borne infections amongst transhuman cattle in northeastern Uganda using participatory epidemiology, tick vector assessment, serological and molecular techniques. Results indicated high tick species diversity and infestations amongst cattle, as well as a high prevalence and diversity of tick-borne parasites. The tick species Ripicephalus falchulus was reported for the first time in Uganda. Novel Babesia by Gemina, Taleria mutans and Anaplasma marginale genotypes were furthermore described. The study provides an important contribution to understanding the epidemiology of tick-borne diseases in Karamoja cattle and provides support for strategic control and improvement of cattle productivity. Recommendations were also made for more effective control measures against ticks and tick-borne diseases. Three of the thesis chapters have been published and another is in preparation. Findings have been presented at local and international conferences. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Charles Bia Rohanga with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I introduce to you Ishaka Liu Elisha, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Biological Activities of Grimaspora Triflora, Extract Fractions and Isolated Compound on Selected Fungi and Bacteria, and the Determination of the Mode of Action Using Electron Microscopy, prepared under my supervision and co-supervision of Professor Yellow. Dr. Elijah is since 2005 the Principal Veterinary Research Officer at the NBRI in VOM, Nigeria. He qualified as DVM at the Amar to Bello University in Zaria in 1994, practiced as veter veterinarian until 2005, obtained the MEC cum laude in 2015 at UP. In his thesis, the Promovendus evaluate nine South African medicine plants used traditionally in the treatment of various infections in humans and animals. The antimicrobial, antifungal activity of the crude extracts of the plants against pathogenic zoonotic microorganisms, the anti-inflammatory activity, and cytotoxicity were determined. Cremaspora triflora was selected as the plant with the best in vivo antibacterial activity and the lowest cytotoxicity against vero cells, and this were used to continue the study. A non-toxic compound, Entria contain was isolated for the first time from the leaves of Cremaspora triflora. A novel technique was developed for time studies using scanning electron microscopy and transmission electron microscopy to determine the mode of action of the hexane fraction and hentria contain on, the, on bacteria and fungi. These studies revealed that both have bacterial and antifungal properties by affecting the metabolic and reproduction functions of the tested organisms. Cremaspora triflora might have the potential for therapeutic use in animals or as in disinfectant against pathogenic bacteria and fungi to prevent and or control the spread of diseases where animals are clipped in close, confined spaces. Research was presented at international conferences. Four articles were published, a fifth accepted, and six more in preparation to be published. Alaja Abakashi Aikinka. Mr. Vice Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate.
I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Ishaku Leo Elisha with all associated rights and privileges. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Aisha Asim, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Distribution and Molecular Characterization of South African Bacillus and Rhesus strains and the associated bacteriophages prepared under my supervision and with Dr. Wolfgang Bayer as co-supervisor. In this thesis, improved techniques in media formulation and protocols for the isolation of bacterial strains from anthrax caucuses, the environment and insects in outbreaks in South Africa are presented. This study proved novel in the identification of the role of external factors which influence bacterial survival during dissemination in the environment. These include the antimicrobial activity of some of the plants and the negative influence of free fatty acid in the isolation of the spores from the pachyderms. Bacillus and stains were typed using molecular techniques to determine the genotypic distribution and spread within and between outbreaks. The data chronicled a diverse set of genotypes with two distinct outbreaks. Trends highlighted in the enzootic regions of the Gaar Plateau in the Northern Cape province and the Kruger National Park in Lapopo province. Uh, bacteriophages were isolated and sequenced from anthrax positive sites along with the bacterial strain during an anthrax outbreak. An aggressive lytic bacteriophage was identified and is a positive candidate for phage therapy as an envi uh, environmental disinfection agent against Bacillus andraisis. Nine other novel temperate bacteriophages were identified during this study. Phosphomycin resistant genes and a sporulation specific sigma factor have, have been identified that have the potential to influence bacterial traits through lysogenic conversion. Together, these factors give insight into the environmental born life cycle of this hardy bacterium and phages which prey on it. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Ayesha Hasim with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Oluwa Fakemi E.G., who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled In Vitro Bioassays as Tools for Evaluating Toxicity of Acidic Drainage from a Coal Mine in Mpumalanga, South Africa, prepared under my supervision and with Professor Jan Mayberg as co-supervisor. In her thesis, the Proma vendor investigated the use of in vitro cellular assays as models for acidic mine drainage, or AMD, toxicity screening and environmental biomonitoring. The potential of cell-based assays to replace testing in whole animals of waste effluent from coal mines was assessed. Generation of reactive oxygen species, or ROS, by untreated and mine-treated water samples, as well as their cytotoxic and genotoxic potential was correlated with the chemical content of the water samples. A range of cell lines was employed in the study to link the bioavailability of pollutants and intrinsic toxicity in target organs. In-stream active treatment with caustic soda was effective in reducing metal burden with subsequent reduction in ROS, but cytotoxic effects were still apparent. The ability of primary fish gill cells to measure induction of cytochrome P450 signifying exposure to contaminating polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons was also measured. Results indicated that the primary cells were useful in assessing the presence of dioxin-like water pollutants. 
This study aimed to provide a new direction for risk assessment in terms of regulatory tests, recommending an easy and inexpensive combined approach to allow more environmentally realistic site-specific assessments of water quality. The results suggest that in vitro techniques involving cell lines and primary cell cultures derived from fish may serve as simple, rapid and cost-effective tools for assessing potential toxic effects of contaminants in AMD waters. Dr. E.G. has one paper published and several more in various stages of preparation. She has presented results of her research at three international conferences and she received a prestigious PhD fellowship from the Schlumberger Foundation to support herself during her studies. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree upon the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Oloa Fikemi E.G. with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Huh? Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Alexander Ray Jambalong, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with the thesis titled Characterization and Antimicrobial Sensitivity of Salmonella, isolated from retailed hens eggs in Swani District, Gauteng Province, South Africa, prepared under my supervision and co supervision of Prof. Elma Bayes. Dr. Jambalong, is a principal veterinarian research officer at the Salmonella Research Laboratory of the NVR in Vom, Nigeria since 2003. He has qualified as DVM in 2000 from the Amadou Bello University, Zaria. He was in private practice until 2002, and in 2011 he obtained an MSc cum laude from UP. In his thesis, the promovendus isolated and characterized Salmonella and other intric bacterial species from retailed eggs sold in Swani district Gauteng. Scanning electron microscopy demonstrated the presence of salmonella and other intric bacteria on the shells of eggs, as well as the ability to penetrate into the albumin and yolk of the eggs. The use of antibiotics in the South African poultry industry has led to resistance in many intric pathogens associated with eggs. Therefore, the antimicrobial activity of extracts of the leaves of indigenous South African plants, as well as that of antimicrobials commonly used in the poultry industry, was determined against six of the gram-negative pathic bacteria isolated from the eggs. SEM and TEM were used to determine the mechanism of action of these plants extract on isolated salmonella serotype typhimerium and stenotrophum monas maltophilia. Plants with promising potential that might be used as natural disinfectants to prevent or control the spread of organisms on the eggshells were identified. This research was presented at international conferences. One article was published, one accepted, and five more are prepared for publication. Alaja Abakashi, I think. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confirm the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Alexander Ray Jambalang with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce you to you, Camilla Teresa Metar, who has compiled, uh, complied with the requirements of the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled African Horse Sickness Outbreak Investigation and Disease Surveillance Using Molecular te Techniques, prepared under my supervision and the co-supervision of Professor Jim McLaughlin. In her thesis, the promovenda gave a detailed description of an African horse sickness outbreak in the African horse sickness controlled area of the Western Cape province in 2011.
This heartbreak highlighted deficiencies and complications of available diagnostic and surveillance methods. From this, she developed molecular methods for the rapid determination of African horse sickness virus serotypes involved in outbreaks and used these to evaluate responses to vaccination. She also used molecular methods to compare African horse sickness viruses in outbreaks in the Western Cape province between 2004 and 2014. These studies confirmed that the outbreaks were due to the reassortment and reversion to virulence of vaccine strains of African horse sickness virus. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, on Camilla Teresa Meta with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduced you in Olotandu Neto Nkwane, who completed, com complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophia with a thesis entitled Aspects of Intellectual Property Protection in Relation to Seed Crops, Floriculture and Medicinal Plants that may impact on policy and legislative development in South Africa. This was prepared under my supervision with first Professor Lindy Mago as co-supervisor. Now, Lutando was born in the Eastern Cape, where many people use medicinal plants. This led to an MSc at the University of Johannesburg under a world leader in medicinal plants, Professor Ben Eric van Wyk. She worked as a plant taxonomist in the herbarium and then was appointed in a very, very senior position in government. It is important to protect the intellectual property of discoveries in medicinal plants and other plants. Her thesis is based on this important and it's important to intellectual, intellectual property. The thesis already led to several publications and changes in draft legislation. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, Onolo Tando, Caroline Netuno, Goana, with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Thank you. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Catherine Ann Scott, who has complied with the requirements of the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis entitled Improved Stability of Foot and Mouth Disease Virus Set to Capsid, prepared under my supervision and with Dr. Melvin Kwan as co supervisor. The Promovenda generated 18 Set to Foot and Mouth Disease viruses and used the most stable of these mutant viruses to produce chemically inactivated antigens and vaccinate guinea pigs and cattle. The stabilized vaccine antigen fully protect cattle against the clinical disease. The study successfully developed the technology of a thermostable SATU vaccine for enhanced foot and mouth disease control in Africa. The data of this study have been published in four peer-reviewed scientific journals, and the Promovenda also co-authored two more articles. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby con confer the degree, Doctor of Philosophy, on Kathleen Ann Scott, with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations.
Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Daniel Shuping, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Philosophiae Doctor, with a thesis entitled Development of an Antifungal Product from Meliantus Comosus Meliantaceae, which can be used to control plant fungal pathogens. This was prepared under my supervision with Dr. Frasin Burta as co-supervisor. Daniel was born in Polikwane. He received an MSc in Microbiology at the University of the Free State. He worked in a plant extract with higher antifungal activity than many commercial fungicides. He could isolate the active compound, develop a low-cost fraction with excellent activity, good stability, and importantly, good environmental safety. The product has definite commercial potential, especially in floriculture and organic plant production. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Daniel Sechaba Skake Shopeng with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Mr. Chancellor, I introduce to you Jacques van Rooyen, who has complied with the requirements for the degree Doctor of Philosophy with a thesis titled Livestock Production and Animal Health Management Systems in Communal Farming Areas at the Wildlife Livestock Interface in South Africa, prepared under my supervision and with Professor Kwes Kutze as co-supervisor. In his thesis, the Prof. Mofenda investigated the development of transfrontier conservation areas in southern Africa, which are hampered by the ability of stakeholders to find sustainable solutions for livestock wildlife compatibility. In this study, the beef production and health systems of the wildlife livestock interface within foot and mouth disease protection zones were analysed. Through the identification of challenges, risks and limitations for compliance with proposed commodity-based trade prerequisites and value chain participation, appropriate solutions could be developed. A mixed methods approach was used to collect data from communal farmers and secondary sources in the Zambezi region of Namibia, as well as the Manisi area of the Bushbuck Ridge local municipality of Pumalanga in South Africa. Based on the findings, a holistic integrated model is proposed that could be implemented at the village level to serve as catalyst for equitable participation by farmers to firstly address the risks and limitations of farming systems, secondly ensure greater wildlife livestock compatibility and thirdly promote consistent market access by fulfilling the requirements of an integrated value chain approach founded on commodity based trade standards. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to confer the degree on the candidate. I hereby confer the degree Doctor of Philosophy on Jakes van Rooyen with all associated rights and privileges. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, I now request the Dean to introduce to me the candidate for the presentation of the award of the Vice Chancellor and Principal in the Faculty of Veterinary Sciences. Mr. Chancellor, I have the honor to introduce to you Tessa Morris for the presentation of the award of the Vice Chancellor and Principal. 
Tessa Morris complied with all the requirements for the Bachelor of Veterinary Science degree on 30th of November 2016, and the degree was conferred on her today with distinction. She distinguished herself during 2016 as the overall top achiever in the Faculty of Veterinary Science. Mr. Chancellor, I request you to present the candidate with the award of the Vice-Chancellor and Principal. I hereby, confer, I, I hereby present Maurice Tessa with the award of the Vice Chancellor and Principals Ameda. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's again my privilege to once, once more, congratulate all the new graduates now that the degrees and diplomas have been awarded and conferred. I also congratulate the, um, the deans and professors, supervisors, and all the staff, both academic and admin, for again preparing and deliver, delivering well-trained uh, candidates to serve South Africa. We are very appreciative of that. Again, thank you to all the parents, relatives and friends, and well wishes for your support and for really dignifying this graduation with your presence. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to the end of the proceedings. Before we close, I wish to invite all present for refreshments afterwards in front of this building. You are requested now to stand for the singing of the national anthem and to remain standing until the assembly has been dissolved and the academic procession has left the auditorium. powers vested in me, I hereby dissolve this assembly of the University of Pretoria.